The Silver Creek Fire outside Kremlin is putting on a new smoke show today. Phil Lindemann, Crystal. 93 News. A swelling plume of smoke visible north of Silverthorne today is from the Spring Creek Fire. That blaze started July 19th northwest of Kremling and has burned 5,000 acres since then. But high winds today fanned the flames. Kelly Wagner with Summit Fire and EMS. It's putting up a, a very impressive smoke plume. Tankers are en route now. Smoke is visible as far north as Steamboat Springs. It's deceiving at how close it looks, but it's in the Route County uh, National Forest. No official word on how much the fire has grown today. Stay tuned to Crystal 93 for the latest. Dillon Dam Brewery is about to get a new neighbor. Last week, the Dillon Planning and Zoning Commission approved plans for a 5,000 square foot urgent care facility with three employee apartments and a 29,000 square foot housing complex with 18 two and three bedroom units. It also includes underground parking. Both buildings are planned for the nearly empty lot behind the dam brewery. The next step is town council approvals. There is no timeline yet for construction. Late last month, Vail Health and three partners approached Dillon Town Council for plans for another medical building. This one is 80,000 square feet and intended for the empty plot on Dam Road and Highway 6 south of Skyline Cinemas. One project partner is Vail Summit Orthopedics. VSO was recently booted from its offices at St. Anthony Summit Medical Center when the hospital signed a different partner for emergency orthopedic surgery. Summer home buying season is winding down, and condo sales are the clearest sign of Summit's wild market. County Assessor Beverly Breakstone. It truly reveals that we really have an upward market. The average sales price for a condo right now is $383,000. In Frisco, just 10 units are below that price, and only two sold for less than their 2017 value. In Dillon Valley and Keystone, values have jumped by more than 40% since 2016. Keystone and Dillon Valley people are going to be very surprised. Breakstone says homeowners will be happy when updated valuations are sent in May, but warns she has seen this upward trend before in 2007 before the market crash. It's Suicide Awareness Month across the nation, and in Summit, Betsy Casey with Building Hope says everyone can do their part to curb local suicides. You don't have to be a mental health professional in order to save somebody's life. The stats are sobering. Globally, one million people die per year from suicide. Colorado has one of the highest rates in the nation, and Summit County has one of the highest rates in the state. So far this year, eight people have died from suicide in Summit, including five from out of town. Suicide and me mental health issues in general are no discriminator. Building Hope hosts free community events all month. Check their calendar at buildinghopesummit.org for more info. In sports, the Rockies play the Diamondbacks today. First pitch is 640. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports, Summit High Golf is in Gunnison today for the Dos Rios Tourney. And the final race of the Vail Rec District Trail Running Series is this weekend, September 15th, at the Meadow Gold 5K and 10K in Minturn. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.